In this video, I'm going to show you everything about Facebook Open Graph meta tags, how to use them, and most importantly, how your business can really benefit when using them wisely. So watch this entire video. Hi, my name is Peter Gerardi, and my goal here is really to help you to simplify all the processes when it comes to an online business so you can cut years to months, months to weeks, and weeks to days and get results faster than you thought possible. So if this is something that resonates with you and you want to get results faster, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell button as well so you get notified as soon as I release the next strategy, tactic, or insight video. Now, when it comes to today's topic, we are going to talk about the Facebook Open Graph meta tags and how to really use them in your business so you can really benefit from them. Now, first and foremost, what I wanna say is that there are a couple of meta tags that you really need to pay close attention to. And I will refer Open Graph as OG because that's just simpler. Right, so OG, and there are a couple of tags that you really, really need to pay close attention to. So the first one is title. Title is obviously the paramount. That's the first thing that people are going to see. So you definitely need to have a custom a title there. You also need to have a custom image. All right, image is also super crucial. Again, this is something that people will see immediately along with the title and it's actually a free advertising that you could use to drive more people to your business and I'll share about that in a moment. Um, then we have also a description. All right, and description is also important because it gives more details about what people are going to see when they will visit the actual page. Now, Recently, description is something that Facebook is kind of limiting in terms of how they display it. So it's very important to pay close attention to the title and image. That's where you will get the biggest benefit. Now, what are actually the open graph meta tags? Those are actually details about the page, just like you would use SEO tags like meta title, meta description, meta keywords, robots.txt, and other things. The same way you need to let social media sites to actually display information about the page on social media sites such as Facebook, uh, Instagram, also uh, Twitter um, and other social media sites. Now, what I want to do right now is really go on to my computer and show you something really powerful. Uh, I will show you two pages and how basically constructing these meta details these open graph details, how you can actually get more traffic and more people visiting your page when you do these things correctly. So let's just jump behind my computer and I'll show you everything. All right, so here I have one website where I have a standard uh, kind of lead generation page. And so I wanna show you what kind of open graph details I'm using for this particular page. So let's grab this URL and let's go this uh, Facebook sharing debugger tool and I'm going to include the link in the description under this video so that you can go there and let's just plug that in here as you can see and let's just click debug, okay? So now it's going to fetch all the current information that we have there and as you can see we have this URL, we have you can see how many likes this URL actually has, um, how many shares and comments and things like that, and we can get all the uh, all information there. We also can see how it's going to look like on Facebook when somebody will share our link. So this is the kind of image that they are going to see. So we specifically designed that image to be that way. This is going to be the description, that they, the title that they will see. Also, there is a description which sometimes Facebook are showing as well. So if we would take this URL now, and if I would go to, let's say my Facebook page, and if I would just plug that URL in, you will see that Facebook automatically is fetching that information, right? So now, even if I take this URL out, and if I now just type in some message, hey guys, check out this particular thing which I just grabbed or something like that, then 
this is exactly what people would see, right? So if someone shares your page on their Facebook uh, wall and you know other people see that in the newsfeed, then this is exactly what they see. They see the image, they see you know the title and, and obviously your message, which is the sharer message. But the most importantly for you as a business owner, this is a free advertising because you know, image obviously is what will captivate people's information. And in fact, when it comes to the open graph, you can also do videos and things like that. There is, there's a lot of, lot of things that you can do and you can really go crazy about this. So include a bunch of different information and share a bunch of different information there, which then obviously when someone shares that on Facebook or other social sites, then you know, this is what's displayed. And there is also one very, very powerful trick which I want to show you. So let's say, you know, okay, this is my page that I'm kind of, this is the front page, right? So this is where people would come, would enter their email, and then they would be taken to another page. And let's say this other page looks like this, right? So if this other page now, you know, if someone would share this link, Right now, this be a girly and, and let me pause this. So if someone would share this link on Facebook, you know, what you can do, you can actually configure your open graph in a way that people would be automatically redirected to the actual squeeze page. So let me explain that again. So this is my page that people see after they opt in. But if someone who opted in, let's say they go and share this page directly on the Facebook, what I can do with open graph, I can actually configure it in a way where, you know, instead of them going to this page, they would be actually sent to this page where they would need to enter the email in order to get access to the other page, right? So let me share this with you. So here, you know, I copy and paste that URL. So this is the URL. So I copy and paste that in the debugger tool. And if I debug this now, you can see that there is a warning message and the warning message is basically about the redirect. Right? So you can see that the redirect path is this. Input URL is the one which we just tested here, but the actual redirect URL is to the other page. And what this means now, so if I now go here and let's say I'm going to, you know, refresh this and let's say I'm sharing now directly this, um, this upsell page, which is hidden behind the email, right? If I if I take this URL now and I share this right here on my Facebook wall, and let me load this up real quick. So if we post it here like this, right, what will happen is that actual redirect, right? So if you remove this URL, the actual redirect when people will click on this is not going to be on the, to the OTO page, but it's going to be to the front page. Right? This is where we want to send people to so that they can opt in and we can capture their email address. So there's a lot of things that you can do with an open graph um, kind of structure and these little things. And when it comes to the configuration here in, in, you know, in Dashnix pages, it's just as simple as you know, providing here text, you know, providing the description, providing the URL of the image and providing the URL of uh, the actual page and that's about it and you also can include the Facebook app ID which then will make sure that if, if you enable comments on the particular page you can actually you know uh, edit those comments meaning that you can moderate the, those comments so if someone puts in the ugly comment as an admin if you have the uh, app ID configure it on the page you can then either delete them or hide them or things like that, which is obviously very helpful if you have a lot of people that are commenting and things like that on a page. So that's the power of um, the open graph structure. And this is where you can, you know, go on Facebook and check your URL and, you know, configure everything in a proper way so that every single page that's being shared on Facebook from your website, it redirects people to the right path, and most importantly, it works as a free advertisement for you, you know, so that you can, you know, really get exposure for your business and get more people to actually check out your business.
All right, as you can see, there are a lot of things that you can do with the Facebook Open Graph meta details and really think through how you kind of construct them to make sure that whenever your page is getting shared on social media, you can bring more people back to your business. And I really uh, kind of encourage you to think a lot about it because let's say you have a page, a simple page and you give some kind of gift, maybe it's a giveaway or something like that. And then you say to people, hey, I wanna give you something more. I wanna give you like gift number two, but in order to claim that gift, please share my page to Facebook and let's say Twitter or an Instagram, for example, right? And what happens when they share that page, it displays your open graph meta details and that brings back more people and you literally create that snowball effect which gets bigger and bigger because the more people visit your page, the more people share it and again, the more people visit the page that way. And this is a true viral marketing hack that you can use step by step when you start to think about it and start to really put the effort in, especially when designing an image and picking the title that you use for the open graph meta tag. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the Facebook open graph meta tags. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click a like button. If you have some questions related to this, please post them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button and bell button so you get notified when I'm releasing the next video with some more insights how to get more traffic and make your business more effective and more profitable faster than you thought possible. So that's it for this video. This is Peter Gerardi. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.